Hello everyone, I am Dr. Somalika Pal and I am practicing as a senior consultant neonatologist and pediatrician at Cloud9 Hospital, Kailash Colony, New Delhi. So another very commonly asked question we get is, can I get my child vaccinated in the government sector? Or is there a difference between the vaccinations given in the government sector or the private sector? And if so, which is better? So it is important to get your child vaccinated both government sector vaccinations and private sector vaccinations are efficacious and good. There is some difference in terms of which vaccines are covered in which one and some difference in the schedules. So first I will come to the government sector vaccinations. So the government sector vaccinates children as per the national immunization policy. So according to this vaccine, most of the diseases are covered, but certain diseases which are part of the Indian Academy of Pediatrics vaccination schedule, which is commonly prescribed and advocated in private sector, are not covered. So the vaccinations which additionally your child would be receiving when he or she is receiving a vaccination from the private sector would be the flu shots, influenza at 6-7 months, the typhoid vaccination commonly given between the ages of 6 months to 9 months, the hepatitis A vaccine at one year, occasionally meningococcal shots if your child is a high risk child or if you opt to get meningococcal vaccinations, the chicken pox vaccine at around 15 months of age and subsequently cervical cancer vaccines between the ages of 9 to 12 months and several other vaccinations. In the government sector, in the primary series, so when your child is getting his or her shots after birth at one and a half months, two and a half months and three and a half months of age, the immunization schedule slightly varies between the government sector and the private sector. The reason is that the government sector vaccination programs are aimed with a public health perspective and point of view. So your child would commonly get a pentavalent vaccine which has the normal whole cell pertussis containing vaccination. You don't get the option of opting for a painless or an acellular pertussis containing component vaccine. So you get a pentavalent vaccine and the injectable polio fractional injection along with a pneumococcal shot. So commonly the fractional injectable polio vaccination would be given at one and a half months and at three and a half months and the oral polio drops would be given along with it. In the private sector vaccination, children are commonly given hexavalent vaccines which makes it two injections commonly given in two thighs and oral drops in the form of rotaviral drops. Whereas in the government sector because of the use of pentavalent vaccinations and separate administration of fractional IPV along with pneumococcal vaccines, the child would probably end up receiving three injections, one in two thighs and one in the upper arm. The immunogenicity of the vaccinations, irrespective of where you get them, government sector or the private sector, they are equally efficacious. And uh, it is vitally important that your child gets the vaccination no matter where. So if somebody opts for a composite of the two, that is some vaccinations could they get in the government sector, certain others, the ones which are not covered by the government sector, if the person wants to get covered in the private sector, it is doable. The vaccinations, if one, one and a half month vaccination has been done in the government sector, you could carry forward and subsequently complete it in the private sector and vice versa. So vaccinations are effective, uh, like I repeat, in either case, no matter where you get them, there are minor differences of which parents should be aware and make an informed choice up for their child.